Good afternoon. Uh, we are very, very happy to welcome all of you on behalf of the Office of Alum Affairs and the collaborating schools for the event, the School of Social Work and the School of Management and Labor Studies. And a warm welcome to everyone on the podium. Uh, we have with us Professor Shalini Bharat, Director. <laughs> Professor Bino Paul, Deputy Director. Uh, we have with us Professor Molishri Vyas, uh, from the a Professor of the School of Social Work. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, the uh, Professor Satyajit Majumdar uh, from the School of Management and Labor Studies is unable to join us for now, but we have faculty uh, from the school, so thank you for joining us. Um, we also welcome our panel chair for the next part of the event, uh, Professor Abdul Shaban, who is also <laughs> he's also on the advisory committee of the Office of Alum Affairs, and uh, we are also happy to welcome. Our advisory committee members, our other advisory committee members, Professor Shahjan, <laughs> Professor Asha Banu, uh, and uh, uh, Dr. Bibu Naik from Hyderabad. He's not here, but hopefully he will join us uh, online. Uh, and our other Allen representatives who are on the advisory committee is Ms. Geeta Sethi, Professor Nasreen, and Professor Mani who are not here with us today, but they are joining us online. And uh, of course, our wonderful panelist, uh, whom you are waiting to hear, and that's uh, Mr. Raju Kendre and Mr. Manzar. <laughs> and we also have with us our guest and our alum, both uh, Dr. Raju Ree with us, uh, 2011 batch. <laughs> And every one of you who are here, um, you know, we are really happy to see you and have you here with us today. And uh, let me mention a very special welcome to our very, very enthusiastic students who are here with us today on a rainy day. So yes, alumni are our strength for any institution, alumni uh, is, a, is both our strength and our inspiration. So while as students, often the focus shifts to problems, our alumni shows us the possibilities that exist, uh, the problems that can be overcome, and the new pathways that can be created. Uh, so as TCNs, uh, you know, all of us know that when we travel to any part of the country, any remote location, or any part of the world, uh, we definitely find another TCN. And personally, as a faculty, uh, you know, to me, these have been some of the most wonderful and inspiring moments to see TCN at different corners of the world doing wonderful work. And the Office of Alum Affairs essentially strives to connect this work of the alumni with our current students and see how do we grow together. So alumni is basically a beautiful convergence between the institute and the world outside. And of course, between the students and the faculty in more ways than one. Uh, you know, often we uh, hear that the real orientation that the students have is not from the faculty, but it happens through your informal interactions with the alumni uh, about the courses, which courses are relevant, which courses to choose, uh, which faculty you should aspire for a research guide, marks, etc., etc. So, uh, you know, the alumni often gives you a real picture, sometimes better than a faculty. And that interaction too is very important. And yes, of course, our strength, like we said, comes from the commitment that the alumni have towards, uh, towards the society and the innovative work that they are doing for social change and social transformation. And we are sure our current students would draw inspiration from them. And that's how the Office of Alum Affairs Actus was envisaged. And we are trying to do this connect and trying to connect alumni across the globe. 
the Young Alumni Impact Series uh, that we are trying to uh, have today uh, is imagined as a forum where alumni share some of their most impactful and transforma transformational work, where alumni share their experiences, their insights with our current students. And we hope that this experience will inspire our students to chart your own pathways. Yes, and today we are here with the exciting inaugural panel of this Young Alumni Impact Series, which is Education and Innovation, Breaking the Barriers, with our alumni Raju Kendre, uh, who passed out from TISS Tuljapur in 2015, and Manzar, who passed out from TISS Mumbai in 2019. In this session, you will not only hear about their work, but the kind of passion and energy that they bring in their work towards inclusive education, towards innovative strategies to reach to some of the most marginalized students. And I'm sure uh, our current students, all of you would be inspired by the work. I hope to hear from both of you. As teachers, um, we feel proud about the work of the alumni and Raju, uh, we have interacted on several occasions uh, and Mansur, yes, I do feel very proud that I have been your teacher and uh, yes, so it's also an emotional moment for us as faculty when we talk about our alumni and our students. I know one of our alumni very recently shared in the last uh, institute day that this is an emotion, uh, indeed this is an emotion. And uh, you know, for us, students come to our classes, but they stay in our hearts forever. And I borrow this quote here to express the emotion called this. Uh, you know, there's a you know there's a couplet uh, which says, "Koi alfas nahi tum jisse main likhu ya bolu, tum to ehsas ho jab bas mehsus hota hai." So I think that's all about this. So I would like to end by telling our students uh, the time that you spend on the campus, the courses that you study, the friends that you make, and most of all, the perspective that you carry from this in your heart will not only change the world, but has the potential to change yourself and the world too. And therefore, this is, to, this is the time to embrace every moment in this. And I'm telling this to you, not as a faculty, but as an alumni myself. And I would like to tell the alumni, all of you who are here today with us, and those of you who are not here, but we are hoping you will join us online, wherever your path leads you in the world, it's important for us to stay in contact. So stay connected, and together we'll try to meet the newer challenges and we'll try to aim for a better world. And that's the vision of the Office of Alum Affairs and uh, at this. So thank you so much. And welcome you once more. I would now request our student, Mr. Sachin, to come and say a few words of welcome from the student community to all of you. Hello, everyone. Today we are very happy to welcome our alumni, Mr. Rahul Kendre and Mr. Manjar. It is a very happy moment for us because we have alumni like Rahul sir and Manjar sir. Okay, okay. okay. Mr. Rajul and Mr. Manjar. So we are, we are, thank you for being this part of this event. Thank you very much. And we are, we are happy. Um, Means we feel encouraged by seeing you, your impact in society. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sachin. Uh, now I would invite Professor Shalini Bharat, Director TISS, for her welcome address. Started with good afternoon, but 
it is now good evening so good evening and a very very warm welcome to all of you uh, to this uh, alumni impact series i'm very happy to see a hall full of students uh, with some alumni of course who are going to talk to you and about their journey but uh, it is very very uh, you know good to see students showing that kind of interest so on behalf of the institute and on behalf of of course the school of social work and the school of management labor studies uh, i would like to once again welcome everyone we uh, i wish i had uh, you know the time and uh, some some time to myself to also think about some uh, couplets or something like uh, this, you know swati did Uh, but she beat me to it, and she has already said something so beautiful. And I also feel that uh, I wish I had a little more time to uh, really learn more about our uh, alumni who are, you know, of course I know a little bit about their work, but uh, then it didn't happen. But um, uh, you know, the Office of Alumni Affairs uh, eventually was established sometime in uh, <clears throat> late December last year. Uh, after we have been uh, having lots of alumni meet uh, but nothing in a very uh, organized way i must admit so i have seen that uh, and today when i'm sitting here something uh, which struck me was that yeah we have always been seeing students as uh, one set of body and they you know alumni as another set of body but actually they are like a free flowing river you know they flow from one end to another and when they merge we don't know so we see you here today and then tomorrow we see you somewhere else and then you are the same but you then you are uh, by then you have become alumni but we really feel that uh, nothing really changes because uh, uh, we we are able to make the same kind of connect especially uh, when i walk into some of the conferences uh, these days and for the last couple of years i'm noticing that um, at least from the public health field no matter whether it is uh, you know ministry of health whether it is uh, uh, you know a un organization meeting uh, i normally have 9 11 13 students just surrounding me in that conference hall ma'am we are from this batch that batch and you know everybody uh, to the extent that some people come and tell me you know your students are a mafia now you know <laughs> they are because this is what they say really they have used sometimes they are a big gang you know and they are really their presence is felt and it makes me feel very nice to see that uh, you know i'm able to connect students from just one school uh, but then of course from other schools as well last year i was in london and i know that manzar and others you know all came to suras and then we all met and it was a beautiful meeting of several schools from school of habitat studies to social work to public health to toljapur campus students and so on so you all are everywhere now so uh, basically uh, you know uh, swati said alumni are our strength students are our strength and i would say alumni are those who illuminate our work i would say you know really uh, they are ambassadors uh, of the institute and um, uh, we get uh, known by the work that you carry forward uh, and very often and most often we have very good uh, things to hear from everyone about you uh, so i we i felt that yes we should have a office of alumni affairs and that this office should be visible and it should be visible to the student community which is here now not when you you know pass away then you know we are talking to you and so on and you then you know suddenly realize okay you have become alumni but you should know about the work uh, which the office does and what it means to be an alumni while you are here and uh, one of the ways uh, in which we can of course do as uh, we thought about was uh, why not have alumni share their stories their journeys uh, their uh, you know um, perspective that they had here and when they gone out what is it uh, what it is like to be a this uh, alum uh, and also uh, for them to guide you to mentor you uh, to uh, share their wisdom and i remember uh, you know one of our public health student uh, told me that uh, during the covid time uh, he was in touch with some you know student uh, and he said that uh, 
he was deeply disturbed to know that that student was studying from a you know small mobile phone so when he asked him uh, how is everything going he said everything is fine but i'm now tired of working and you know studying from this small uh, mobile phone which is not even a smartphone kind of a thing and he said but why are you doing that and he said you know i still can't afford a laptop and this student was you know deeply shaken and he said how can you do that so he spoke to another student another student and he said within 10 15 minutes he had to stop telling people that please now don't send any more money i have 45000 to buy a laptop for this student you know and immediately he said we bought and we couriered him and so on and that's the strength of the alumni and uh, he said ma'am you're not tapping this strength well enough so i said you know Uh, you all guys also should uh, now see and come together and say what you can do for uh, you know the students and he said yeah but you know some you have to show us the way you have to tell us what is it that uh, the institute requires what is it that the students require and that's also the time when i think i came back to uh, swati and you know uh, sasmita and i said uh, i think we are not uh, you know speaking to each other enough and maybe we should do a little more Uh, and so this whole thing about you know having an office uh, speaking to current students bringing alumni and having them talk and so on so it's really a a way which 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 allows us to see that we let this like a river you know keep flowing and uh, wherever which whichever point uh, of this river we are on the banks of this river i'm sure we'll be able to you know take a dip in the river get flow you know flow up along with the river but nothing like you know what we have seen the bias do during this time of uh, you know monsoon very scary uh, but a gentle flowing river so that is what i had to say a little bit about it now i am very happy that you know we have a a, a scholarship or a, or a concept like bridge uh, uh, and we will hear a little more about that perhaps Uh, the bridge, uh, which uh, you know, of course, as you all know, bridge is a bridge, a say to a pole, whatever you call it. Um, it is uh, a very aptly chosen title, I feel, which will connect the current students to uh, you know alumni, because uh, the bridge is all about uh, uh, you know connecting students through scholarship. And uh, Manzer and his friends are doing a lot to uh, make sure that uh, you know they. they have these uh, resources brought in and uh, one such resource i'm able to i'm very happy to say that uh, uh, in fact i'm delighted to announce the launch of the bridge gladys and ree johnson scholarship as part of bridges scholarship campaign uh, this incredible opportunity has been made possible by our esteemed alumnus dr raju ree of 2011 2013 batch please dr raju i would like you to who has uh, generously established the scholarship in the name of his parents mr re johnson and the late gladys johnson uh, the scholarship valued at 1 lakh rupees will be awarded to one student from the school of social entrepreneurship or the school of social work or the school of health system studies perhaps we will develop some system by which we will do this uh, and it is an absolute pleasure to have uh, dr raju re here join us today in person Uh, while we are announcing this and i'd like to express my deepest uh, you know uh, pleasure and uh, gratitude to him and his family for doing this uh, and making this very uh, you know gesture uh, which is where you know we all probably will join hands and uh, make it possible for every student who has to study in tis uh, be able to study in tis and so therefore our commitment is for Uh, making every student be a part of the tis community regardless of you know their backgrounds and so on and one of the commitment is that we try and raise resources for those who find it difficult to come uh, and uh, alumni are one resource and one source which will you know continue to do that but today you are students tomorrow you will be alumni so remember this cycle will continue yeah and you will see the the impact uh, alumni make but you will also see the impact the resources that are generated through alumni uh, efforts uh, you know the kind of difference uh, 
it can make into student life. And I feel that two things which are absolutely important, education and health. If we have done something for these two, I think the rest of it happens, you know, by itself. So we all feel as faculty, as educationists, as edu educators, we feel committed for uh, bringing more resources. And uh, I, I personally feel very satisfied that this is becoming a good momentum. It's gaining momentum. And I'm sure all of you will lend your strength, lend your shoulder uh, as and when you become alumni. But with these words, I'd like to, uh, for all of us to hear from our uh, alumni who, you know, at this very young age have already made a name for themselves and made us all proud. So we are uh, deeply uh, satisfied with the way uh, we get known through our uh, students, through our alumni. And uh, let us hear them out today. Uh, Tuljapur uh, alumni uh, Raju Kendre and uh, from Mumbai campus uh, Manzar. Uh, I'm sure every every campus has uh, students, and we'll keep bringing such uh, you know alumni for this impact series. Thank you all very much, and do enjoy the evening. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Bharat. And uh, Professor Bharat, you have been the driving force in setting up the Office of Alum Affairs and uh, taking forward this connect between the alumni and our current students. And it's so beautiful, uh, you know, this idea of river which flows and connects the students of alumni. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the inspiration and continuous uh, inspiration and suggestion to take our work forward. Uh, so thank you once again. And uh, now we'll have uh, messages, two messages for the alumni and our students. Uh, the first message is uh, from Professor Bino Paul, our Deputy Director. Uh, Professor Bino. Professor Shalini, uh, Professor <coughs> Swadi, uh, Professor Malusri, Professor Shaban, uh, Raju, and Mansa, uh, alums here, uh, dear students, uh, faculty colleagues, and staff. This is, I would say, part of a continuum uh, which began, I still recall, fresh in my memory long ago, or I think 14, 15 years ago now, when Mohammed Yunus won Nobel Prize, he got into a conversation with mm -hmm. Tis on uh, social entrepreneurship and learning, how to uh, inculcate, how to develop a learning program for social entrepreneurship. And of course it was quite interesting, convincing, it was crucial to work on it, but then uh, there was some confusion with this. The question was how to approach it. One hand, uh, the approach was efficiency, the root of efficiency, efficiency and value creation. Another was uh, closely working with society through the root of trust. Anyway, both the, cla both the hands clapping together was not that easy. So first string came up, business and efficiency. Another string came up later with School of Social Work. Then uh, the first string came up in School of Management and Labor Studies. Now today we have both the hands here <laughs> clapping. I'm sure it's going to generate a very interesting flow of energy, massive energy, because both are required, uh, efficiency and value creation, one hand, the other hand, unless there is trust created, support of society, and engaging with society. Efficiency alone won't really uh, safeguard things or make things sustainable. More crucially, in the context of transitional context, I would say, new na national education policy, 2020. One, one hand, it's, it promises a lot. The other, on the other hand, there's no shortage of challenges. There are many challenges, actually. Challenges. 
There's so much focus on uh, growing growth of uh, enrollment because you know the enrollment in India for higher education. In the age group of 18 to 22 or 23, eligible people, eligible students, out of that, just one third make into higher education. One point of time it was one sixth. Now it's one third. And of course, uh, in other transitional geographies, uh, massive geographies, it's more than a half. That's a challenge, but then even one third brings its own share of problems. If you see the recent periodic ROMS or periodic labor, periodic labor force surveys published by government, the correlation between education and unemployment is more ostensible. It's very clear. So that's where I think education and innovation move together, especially first generation learners. Our friends Raju and Mansur endeavored hard to provide solutions and uh, engaging with its complexity. It's complex. It's too complex, and they are going to unravel it later. And friends, I'm, we, we are going to be enlightened by it. That's the continuum. I'm sure this alum as a culture and a growing continuum would enrich uh, our system. Uh, we look towards reimagining futures. It's going to reimagine upcoming futures. So I wish all the best to all of you. Uh, let the legacy grow and let's learn from Dalla uh, and contribute towards transitions and problems. Again, there will be problems awaiting. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Vino. Uh, you know, I think uh, we should strive towards uh, taking forward this continuum. Uh, now, the next message to our alumni and students from Professor Molishri Vyas, Professor and Officiating Dean at the School of Social Work, Professor Vyas. Good evening, everybody. Um, good to see uh, uh, all of you in the hall and to see our you know, distinguished alumni, each of uh, whom is distinguished in their own ways and in their own fields, and to see uh, future alumni, uh, a huge number of you here. Uh, on behalf of uh, Professor Bipin Jojo, who, uh, the dean of the school who could not be here today, he has uh, had to be somewhere else for another engagement, and uh, my colleagues in the School of Social Work. I'll just share a few thoughts about uh, uh, the alum office and you know the, how we value our alumni. Uh, uh, much has been said by uh, uh, Professor Bharat and Professor Binopal uh, and Professor Swati Banerjee about uh, the, the significance of the contributions of alumni and what you all mean to us. But um, I would like to uh, highlight a few things. One, that uh, uh, as a program that is as old as the Institute, we are very uh, conscious of the fact that uh, it is a huge um, workforce and a huge presence that we have in the field of social work and social development. And uh, of course, everywhere that we go, we meet our alumni, we work with them, we interact with them, and we have discussions with them in professional spaces and in social spaces. But we value immensely the work that is being done by alumni. We're aware of the struggles that many of uh, them have had to uh, build the work in their f respective fields. We're aware of uh, uh, you know, personal and professional challenges that they have overcome uh, over several years to actually contribute to the field of social development. So it is of immense value to us and we are so glad that many of you are 
and, and speaking to the alumni directly here, wherever you are, but really glad that many of you are in touch with so many of us. So I think there is a good network that's there, but it is, uh, it's in a different space and the alum office is going to get us all together in a, in a more formal and a more organized way. Um, needless to say that uh, uh, we have found over the years that the alumni are our mirror, uh, our honest critics and our greatest supports. And uh, something happens, you know, once people leave the institute. I think uh, the, the divisions of programs melt away, the years also melt away, and there is a great sense of collegiality and camaraderie with which uh, all of you interact with us. And uh, we have drawn immense support and strength from, um, from your um, communication with us, your uh, suggestions, your uh, criticism of some of what we are doing and also your support in various spaces. Um, I think we really do see the alumni as uh, key stakeholders in our work so, so far and in the future plans that we have. And uh, as Professor Binupal just mentioned, we are also at a juncture where there are several changes that are taking place with regard to curriculum, with regard to uh, newer issues and challenges that faculty also as a, a body will encounter as we implement and conduct new programs, new courses uh, to uh, you know, much younger students uh, who are ready to come in into the programs. So I think that we look forward to a good sense of partnership and to having you as our uh, co-teachers from the field. We draw on you for fieldwork support, for research engagement, and for collaborative work, and will continue to do so. But we feel confident in the fact that you are there. We have such a solid network of alumni who are in touch with us and uh, who have that much of goodwill for uh, the institute and the programs here to also partner with us in our work ahead. So uh, I'm, I'm sure that our uh, uh, in this phase, in the coming phase, that uh, we will continue to draw on your support in the work that we do. So whether it is curriculum development, whether it is joint programs, projects, uh, and opening up of new spaces for research, for field engagement, and for teaching, uh, I think a lot of that has happened for social work through the work of the alumni. And that is what has made our program uh, you know, much richer and and much more meaningful. So uh, we look forward to more organized communication and uh, interaction with all of you. And we also hope that uh, you know many of you who haven't got into the alum network as yet are able to come back and, and see meaning in it. I mean, I know for a fact that you know batches that are 30 years old and uh, many, uh, many, many years older, people feel that we are in touch anyway and we don't need to come back for formal events and occasions. But I think that uh, uh, times are changing and if we can organize ourselves a little bit so that you know, the connect is stronger um, and uh, the institute, the discipline of social work and the profession, all of it we can you know, take forward in, in, this, uh, uh, in a different context, I think it would be good to be more systematically in touch. So I'm really looking forward to uh, connecting with uh, younger and uh, more senior or older alumni through the alum office and to actually building on this uh, huge uh, network and goodwill that we all have. Uh, and if there are ways in which we can all contribute, I'm sure that we will continue to do so. But uh, uh, yes, thank you very much. Good luck to all of you and let's all be in touch. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Malishri. Uh, yes, I think networking and partnership with alumni is very, very significant. I, I you know, I was just tempted because I was reflecting, uh, you know, the student we had and during COVID, uh, she was staying in Mumbai and she had to go to a village and work in Manrega and she didn't have any, uh, you know, laptop or internet access. And our alumni quickly came together and. Uh, you know, got a laptop for her and managed to send it to her village. 
so it was it's just one laptop, but it's a connect for her between uh, you know, not having education and accessing higher education and getting a test degree. So uh, wonders can be done you know, through this networking, through these partnerships between student and alumni. Uh, let me also share, and I'm very happy and proud to share that Professor Bipin uh, is today in Delhi to receive uh, the award for the School of Social Work for the best School of Social Work from India today. Thank you. And uh, we, today we are also uh, missing uh, Professor Sasmita Palo, who is uh, the Dean Office of Alumni Affairs. And she is unable to join us due to a family emergency. But uh, she has sent her good wishes to all of us, to all of you who are here. Uh, so thank you uh, so much. Now, uh, just a small token of uh, thanks to us distinguished speakers on the podium. Uh,